Baby You. And what else? I can't sing it, but I, you can not sing it. Baby You. Yeah, baby, you. All right. right. You and me. This is my <laughs> Shout out to Chino and Charles on the check-in. Shout out to Lady G, Tony, we see you. Shout out to Poochie, everybody that's in the chat room. Once again, we want to thank y'all for rocking with us tonight. We love ya. We are locked in the den right now with Sonya Hudson Payne. And she is here to tell us about her book, The Seasons of Love. The seasons yes, of love. yes, I'm here. Thank you, ladies, for having me. This is a beautiful so setup. And I'm so excited about The Seasons of Love, which was released in 2006. And it really explores the coming of age between a young man and a young lady as they explore the lure of the streets so that it won't interfere with their journey towards success and love. So it takes you through the ups and downs of love, the twists and the turns, and can they be successful? Will they survive? So it's a, a true tale of, you know, the streets and what we have to overcome. I love it. Mm. I love it. Dot com. Oh my yes. goodness. Yes. What? I always feel like I'm in the winter of love. A lot yes. of people. A lot yeah. of people. And you know, that's why I decided to stay true to the genre of romance because People go through so many obstacles when they're faced with relationships that they don't even think that love's attainable. So I wanted to be a true testament to my parents who are right. together for 52 oh, years. Nice. Oh, we gotta clap it up. Okay. 52 years. Can we get your back? Why? We sure. need sure. Because sure. They need to offer some serious advice. Yes. People, me, uh -huh. I give up on something immediately. If it yes. looks like it's heading to a turbulence, <laughs> I got a big yes. pair of scissors for that. You understand? What I'm You're like, listen, this is not going to work for us. Yeah, I understand, but I'm equally excited about my my new book. It's called A Love of My Own, okay. and that explores relationships as well. How can women? We face so many different issues of incest absentee fathers and coming from parents who tell you that to be a gold digger mm -hmm. so how can you find a love of your own without all of those obstacles that we face as as young girls so i wanted this to be a testament to young girls all over the place to let you know that don't go by what society tells you because love is real That's and right. we can get it if we work hard at it i like right. that now when you come up with the characters that. and things like that do you do you draw from um inner pain or do you take the um, stories of like friends and relatives and intertwine them all of it i take personal stories i interview young ladies across the world and i combine them so that it's a more realistic story so that everybody could feel everybody's pain and joys and triumphs i love it i love it pink panther <laughs> so where did, your, where, where did your inspiration come from to write this book this inspiration came from me trying to find a love of my own. Okay. You know, so I'm not in a relationship at all, but I do know that somebody's out there for me. God put me on this earth so that I can love someone and someone can love me. So I'm trying to find a love of my own, and I'm helping young ladies out there find a love of their own, too. Okay. Right. So you're helping them, to, you're helping to get their minds conditioned yes. for a relationship. Yes, and That's I good. do different um, when empowerment can I get workshops. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, Love of My Own will be coming out in a couple of months. We're okay. still going through the graphic design okay. with the, um, the book cover. So look forward to it really soon. I should anticipate by this summer. Now, where can people go to find your book? Is there a website that you have? You can go to authorhouse.com. You can go to amazon.com. You can go into Barnes & Noble, borders.com, and see your select retailers. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I like just it. Just be on the lookout for different um, author seminars that I do. I'm proud to announce that in May, I'll be starting a six-series author workshop. And at the end of the workshop, authors or would-be authors will be filling out a query letter that you have to submit to any publishing company. And I personally am going to represent potential author, authors as a literary agent and get their works published. <gasps> wow. Yes. Oh, you see that? Really? Yes. I, I love have it. something. I have <laughs> something. <laughs> so look out for the workshops. Look out for the workshops. And you see, that's a good thing because you're giving back. Yes. Not only are you, you know, here to tell us about your book, but you're also helping other authors. Yes. And that's where it's at. You it's know, important. anybody who does that is definitely great. It's important. I don't believe in being equipped with all of these tools and not sharing it with the world. I hear so many questions as to how can I get started writing? And I said, you know what? There are so many people who was once where I was 
And what, what what type of author, what type of woman, what type of person would I be if I didn't give back to those to those people? There's so many people out there who just want to see their dreams come into fruition to become an author. Just do it. Yeah. Because authors are really getting a bad rap because everybody's writing. So just make sure that you're writing something that's relatable. Just write something that's of substance mm -hmm. and have faith and it'll sell. I like that. Now, you know, it's a pleasure to have Miss Sonya Payne in here with us because she could have been anywhere, but she's here with us. She the Air and Out Girls. The Air and Out Girls. Yes. 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 Now, Sonya brought gifts. Yes, yes, she did. Let's show. Let's show right. me what she has. Let me see what's in the bag. Let's yes, reveal. And, and bookmark. Oh, look at this. That's a t-shirt uh, for my upcoming book. A of love, love of my own. own. Yeah, that's the same. So we're going to have t-shirts, uh -huh. mugs, cute. pens, like pencils, it. just different types of promotional items. And what I did fail to mention also. This is for season of love. That's for the seasons of love. Yes. Um, what's also going to accompany the new book, A Love of My Own, is going to be a soundtrack CD. I don't get it. Featuring different artists and I've already confirmed um, Cheryl Pepsi Riley. Woo! Oh, nice. Oh, 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 is this what she cooking the breakfast? Is that who it is? Yes. Oh, oh my yes. goodness. Go ahead. What's the first line of the song? I love her. I'm not going to leave that yet. Oh, no, no, no. The original. The original. When she cooking the breakfast and she laying down at the floor. I forgot. Early in the morning. Oh, yeah. Early in the morning. I put breakfast on your table. And <laughs> make sure sorry I digress I love her but um keep going what a, tell us more tell us more so I just wanted to do something very unique and different you don't find too many authors who not only put out a book but who also have a soundtrack that accompanies the book I wanted to stimulate your mind with words and also soothe you and make you relax with the mu with the music as well so we're gonna have some R&B gonna have some rap we're gonna have some poetry so be on the lookout some great things are coming up I love it. Wonderful. Sanya, we are very proud of you. Thank and this you. is the first time that Sanya's actually here, so I'm yes. so excited. <laughs> <laughs> She's grown, I've grown. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I just want to share also that you can do this. I want to share a humble story of how I started uh, my author journey. In 2004, I moved to Pensacola, Florida, and a week later, Hurricane Ivan hit and it destroyed everything. And my daughter, we only had the clothes that was on my back. Wow. So I said, How can I become the woman? who I want to be now that I have nothing. So without any electricity, because we didn't have electricity or running water for two months, I sat down in my aunt's backyard with a candle, a pen, and a piece of paper, and I wrote my first book. I'm and I'm proud story. to say that I have written numbers of books. All right now, right. let them know. We like that right there. Oh my goodness. Well, if you want to know more, you better Google it. Baby. Yes. That's what the big dogs do. You put in the number and you put in their name in. Google it. Baby. Google it. We want to thank Huff and Puff Entertainment for rocking out with us. Yes. We want to shout out the entire chat room Poochie, Tony, Stills, Tonex, Samaya, Lady G, everybody in the chat room that I can see. Um, everybody, we love you so much. 